Okay, sometimes you can't get into your WordPress site because the settings are all wrong. And I'll show you what I'm talking about that. On the Settings General tab, you'll find uh, two places where the WordPress address is. Now, I've had a couple of problems in the past. One was uh, someone let a domain name expire and you couldn't log in because you couldn't resolve to the domain name. Uh, and lately I've had one where I used uh, the IP address because the, the domain was live at another host and I was setting it up uh, under an IP address kind of like this. And this was working fine until the host uh, upgraded their servers and moved uh, the domain onto a new machine which had a different IP address. Now everything is set through the domain name. It's, it's an invisible process, but when you're using the IP address and that IP address changes, you have problems. So if I change that address, I can no longer get to the site. Where is... Um, the site. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. Blah, 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 blah. Sandbox. This is just a, an install I put in. Now there's the, the content, but I can't get in there to the login. I can't find it. That's because I've got the wrong settings and in that settings page and I can't get there so what I have to do is go into the database this is not in any of the PHP files you have to go and find your database um, admin here is PHP my admin we're going to find that database click on databases you'll see two I've put two or I put several uh, database and WordPress here this is this one choose the right database. Most of you will only see one database. When you get in here, we're going to look at options and we're going to browse. WP options, your uh, first two letters might be different if your database prefix is different, but it'll be under options. Hit browse and then look under there. Usually the first one will be site URL and see here, this is what's uh, wrong. I have to edit that. Click on edit. And we're going to go back to our domain name, which is I like atl.com slash sandbox. Put your real URL, put your correct IP addresses, whatever it is to resolve. Just put it in there and hit go. Boom. Now you're, you'll be uh, looking at new data in the option value for site URL. Now when you come over here and you can't find that, you reload it and we'll be seeing the site back. So if you get locked out of your site and you can't change, uh, get into the control panel uh, or dashboard to change that, then that's the way to fix it. Get into your database, fix the site URL, and all will be swell. Hope that helps. Uh, you in some way, it sure helped me before I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Come see me again sometime. Bye.